Picture this, it's a cozy evening, and you're nestled in your favorite armchair, the soft glow of the television casting a warm embrace across the room. The year is 1968, and a new series graces your screen. The ghost and Mrs. Muir a title that carries an air of mystery and intrigue. As the theme music fills the room, you find yourself transported to a seaside cottage, perched on a cliff, where the ethereal and the everyday collide. Memories flood in as you reminisce about your first encounter with this timeless gem. Perhaps it was the captivating chemistry between Mrs. Muir and the ghostly Captain Greg that left you spellbound. Or maybe it was the way the show seamlessly blended the supernatural with the everyday, making you believe in the possibility of love transcending even the boundaries of life and death. But as you journey back to that moment, you might also be curious about some lesser known tidbits that surrounded the creation of this classic series. So without further ado, let's unravel a few intriguing facts about the ghost and Mrs. Muir. Did you know that the show was inspired by a novel of the same name written by Ra Dick? It was this literary source that sparked the imagination of the show's creators and they masterfully brought the tale to life on screen. The show's ethereal atmosphere was not only a result of superb storytelling, but also the genius of Bernard Herrmann, the renowned composer responsible for its hauntingly beautiful score. His music, like a phantom itself, continues to linger in the hearts of fans. The Ghost in Mrs. Muir holds the distinction of being one of the few TV series that successfully blended genres a delightful mix of romance, comedy, and supernatural elements. This unique concoction is what made it an enduring favorite for generations. So, as you revisit those cherished memories of watching the ghost and Mrs. Muir, remember that there's always more to the story than meets the eye. Behind every beloved show, there are tales of inspiration, creativity, and dedication that add layers to our appreciation. And now, armed with these intriguing facts, you can relive the magic of this timeless classic with even greater wonder. In the 1968 TV series The Ghost and Mrs. Muir, the character of Captain Daniel Gregg retained his name from the original movie, as did the first name of the house servant Martha. However, Ritashaw portrayed Martha Grant instead of Martha Huggins. A most notable change was the first name of Mrs. Muir, which became Carolyn in the TV series, whereas in the film, she was known as Lucy Muir, played by Jean Tierney. This alteration was likely made to distinguish the TV character from Lucille Ball's iconic portrayal as Lucy and I Love Lucy. Another interesting tidbit about the show is that the episodes in season 2 are generally a minute longer than those in season 1, which might have allowed for more character development and storytelling. Moreover, the portrait of Captain Greg used in the 1968 series is the same one from the 1947 movie, but with Edward Mulhair's face painted over Rex Harrison's. This artistic choice ensured continuity between the film and the TV adaptation while featuring a new actor in the role of Captain Greg. These details shed light on some interesting aspects of the show's production and adaptation process, making The Ghost and Mrs. Muir a fascinating piece of television history. The opening title card for all the episodes of season one featured bold, filled in lettering for all but the word ghost, which was spelled with hollow letters. Ghost retained the hollow title card letters, but additionally took on a wavy Halloween type font in all the episodes of season two. The name of the house where Mrs. Muir lived with her children was Gull Cottage. The series premiered on NBC on Saturday night at 8.30 p.m. LST. NBC canceled it after the first season, and it was picked up by ABC for its second and final season. The Ghost and Mrs. Muir was a TV series that had a notable change in its opening title card design between its two seasons. In season one, the word ghost was spelled with hollow letters, while the rest of the title featured bold, filled in lettering. However, in season two, Ghost not only retained the hollow letters, but also adopted a wavy Halloween type font. This change in the title card design reflected the show's shift towards a more supernatural and whimsical tone in its later episodes. The name of the house where Mrs. Muir and her children lived in the series was Gull Cottage. This charming coastal home served as the central setting for the show, where the widow Lucy Muir had her encounters with the ghostly Captain Daniel Gregg. Gull Cottage became an iconic symbol of the series and added to the show's unique charm. The Ghost and Mrs. Muir had an interesting history when it came to its network. It originally premiered on NBC, airing on Saturday night at 8.30 p.m. EST. 
However, after the first season, NBC decided to cancel the series. Fortunately for fans, the show was picked up by ABC for its second and final season. This switch in networks allowed the series to continue its run and wrap up its story. In conclusion, The Ghost in Mrs. Muir is remembered not only for its captivating storyline, but also for its distinctive title card design, the iconic Gull Cottage, and its network switch from NBC to ABC. These elements all contributed to the show's enduring popularity among viewers. Hope Lange won the Emmy for Best Actress twice, one for each year the show was on. Hope Lange's remarkable talent shone brightly during her time on the 1968 TV series, The Ghost and Mrs. Muir. This charming show, which ran for only two seasons, proved to be a notable exception in the world of television syndication. Lange's portrayal of Mrs. Carolyn Muir earned her the prestigious Emmy Award for Best Actress in both years that the series graced the small screen. This achievement underscored her exceptional acting skills and the show's undeniable appeal. While The Ghost and Mrs. Muir might have had a brief run, Hope Lange's dual Emmy wins remain a testament to the enduring quality of her performance, making her a celebrated figure in television history. In a landscape where few sitcoms achieve syndication with less than five seasons, Lange's Emmy wins serve as a lasting tribute to the show's impact and her outstanding talent. In the 1968 TV series The Ghost and Mrs. Muir, there's an interesting connection to the film version. Rex Harrison played Captain Gregg in the film version. It's worth noting that before taking on the role of Captain Gregg in the TV series, Edward Mulhair had replaced Harrison in the Broadway cast of My Fair Lady. Another noteworthy aspect of the series is the location of Gull Cottage. Despite the clever editing that made it appear to overlook the ocean, Gull Cottage is actually located inland in Santa Barbara. This editing trickery gave viewers a different perspective of the cottage's surroundings. Intriguingly, when ABC picked up the series for its second season, following NBC's initial cancellation, there was a noticeable shift in the dynamics of the show. The initial aura of romance and yearning between the eponymous characters evolved into an adversarial, comic banter. This frequently led to a battle of the sexes competition between them. These tidbits shed light on the behind-the-scenes and on-screen aspects of the 1968 TV series The Ghost and Mrs. Muir, adding depth to its history and production. As we bid adieu to the enchanting world of The Ghost and Mrs. Muir, we invite you to pause and reflect on the timeless magic this 1968 TV series has woven into our hearts. For those who have ventured into the captivating tales of Lucy Muir, and the charming Captain Greg, you've journeyed through a portal of romance, mystery, and the ethereal. Perhaps you've found yourself marveling at the resilient spirit of Mrs. Muir, whose determination led her to discover the unexpected companionship of Captain Daniel Gregg, a ghost from another time. Or maybe it was the evocative cinematography and hauntingly beautiful score that left an indelible mark on your soul. This series transcended mere television. It became a vessel through which we explored themes of love, loss, and the transcendence of time. Now, we extend an invitation to you, dear reader, to share your cherished memories and thoughts about this remarkable series. What moments stirred your emotions? Which characters left an everlasting impression? Did it inspire you to view life with a renewed sense of wonder? Your words can breathe life into this timeless masterpiece once more, allowing others to glimpse the profound impact the ghost in Mrs. Muir has had on your life. Share your thoughts, reminisce about the adventures, and let us collectively celebrate the enduring allure of this classic. Thank you for your time and interest in this nostalgic journey. Your participation makes this experience even more magical. Keep the spirit of the ghost in Mrs. Muir alive through your reflections and discussions. With heartfelt appreciation, 